All righty. Uh, I've color coded the notes. Uh, Alex, you will be purple and we will uh, go through these. Ian, would you like to tell us about our character concept? Our character concept today is AK-911. It was a war forged. <laughs> AK-911 is a tall barrel chosen an ironwood creation cut with shiny bronze plates. Attached to each arm are integrated hand crossbows, perfect for turning his foes into a peppered steak. <laughs> Their hollow eyes, eye sockets glow with sinister red light that can send chills down even an orc's juice spine. Alex, do you want to pick that up with the purple text? All right. So his personality, uh, like many mercenaries for hire, they are kill to serve. Um, not being one loyal to anyone, but, you know, a good coin. AK is a person of few words. They let one-liner insults do the talking after their crossbow. You're already dead. Just lie down. <laughs> Though... AK does, uh, does tend to enjoy hot mud baths when not bathing in the blood of his enemies. <laughs> AK-911 is a warforged construct created during the last era of a military authoritarian kingdom. AK-911 was part of a commissioned set of warforged to be delivered to a private buyer. Unfortunately, the ship that carried him and his kin was destroyed by a powerful storm. Losing these deadly construct assassins, loosing these deadly constructs assassins into the world without anyone to control them. AK is a simple construct being created for war. That is really all they know, actually. Th thus, they push it to complete its purpose. AK isn't without realizing the cost of battle and value of a good dead target. Coin is all it takes to earn AK's loyalty. I'm not picking coin slots on this guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, yes. So long as they get coins for their mud baths. They'll do as instructed, but be wary. As soon as they better overcome the lawn, even if you're an ally, AK will put an arrow in your back. <laughs> Alex, what do you think about AK-911? So, I know uh, one. I shouldn't say 911 <clears throat> because, yeah. I mean. It meant to be emergency, 911. Sorry. Uh, I really like AK-911. I think that I think that he could be a lot of fun um, the way that I would use this guy is I would use him as, like, an ally, but, he, like, you know, whenever you go to bed at night, you're like, is he gonna kill me in my sleep? You know, that <laughs> kind of a thing, like, um, and, like, maybe at the very end, at the very end, you know, he gets paid out, and he's like, well, it wasn't horrible doing business with you. <laughs> Stuff like that, that's what, that's what I picture him as, is, like, like, a king is like, oh, I brought one of my best to come along with you. And it's just this dude who's like smoking a cigar. And he's just like, <laughs> I don't care about you. I <laughs> have to ask, how much of this character based off of HK47? Um, Actually, I already <laughs> did that. But it was based off of wanting to do another Warforge like HK47. Because we did that as a monster. That's but not a character concept. So I, I did, yes. yes. <laughs> Killer Dro I like Star Wars. Sorry, I'm not going to apologize for that. But uh, certainly inspired by it. Um, I love what Alex uh, said about uh, uh, using it as a, an ally to the players. Um, and I love the idea that they have to keep, like, he'll come and say, I got a better offer and point the crossbow. And then they start loading coins into his into his coin <laughs> slot to get him to not kill him. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Delcinia says, in a different game, there was a robot named UR86, which was basically military shorthand for UR and T. You are deep six, a.k.a. you are deep and dead and buried. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think that'll do it for our character concept, the uh, AK-911. Yes, always. Without doubt, one of the most challenging parts about being a dungeon master is coming up with fun and interesting NPCs to flesh out your world with. To truly make them fun and interesting, it takes a lot of work. This is especially difficult for spellcasters. Lucky for us... Magician's Menagerie has got us covered. It is a collection of Arcanus with new spells, items, and inspiring stories to fill out your stories and campaign. Oh, and did we mention the artwork, the layout, it looks gorgeous. This product is coming to Kickstarter on February 15, 2022. They are running an awesome early bird special. Make sure you get in because it is jam-packed with fat loot. My dice are trembling with excitement. Are yours? Don't miss out on this one. Head on over to rebrand.ly slash magicians menagerie and introduce your players to characters they will never forget.